Today, with the release of Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 6, the fishing decks has been reset once more, and with it, we've gotten a ton of new fish, so I have taken the responsibility of catching every single one of these fish, and now I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the exact same in the quickest way possible to actually complete your entire fishing decks. I did this in about two hours, so depending on your luck, it probably will be about that long for you guys, but it could go longer or shorter, depending on your odds. Now, there are a bunch of things that I'm going to be covering in this video. There are going to be a ton of timestamps down in the description, each one of them showing you guys where to find every single fish, and every single fish will be split up by category and its number, so if you're looking for a specific one, feel free to jump to that spot. But before you start jumping around to all of the timestamps, I do want to get some groundwork laid for where you should be fishing, what you should be fishing with, and when you should be fishing. So as you guys probably know, some of these fish actually have required requirements for where you can catch them. For example, the Peely jellyfish can only be caught in mountainous areas, but it also requires a pro fishing rod. Now, some of the other ones have lighter requirements, just like being caught in a swamp area. So, some of them have double requirements like this one. Some of them even have triple requirements like I believe what is it, the white slurfish? Yeah, this guy. Pro fishing rods, swamp areas, and at night. Now, these are the harder guys to catch, so I will be breaking them down fully. But like I said, there are a few things to note. If you actually want to be dedicated and fully complete this fishing decks, you are going to want to load into a battle lab. As you can see, I am not in a normal game. I am actually in a battle lab. Now, this allows you to fish without being killed by other players. And along with that, fishing holes last for so much longer in these than a standard solo game. If you load up to a public game, you'll get about three or four casts out of a fishing hole tops. But out of these, you will get at least probably seven to ten before it will run out. So these things are absolutely amazing. They're so much better than the ones in-game, so definitely come into a battle lab. Along with that, while you are loading into the battle lab, make sure that you set the settings on it to nighttime mode. A lot of the fish require it to be nighttime, so you can be fishing for all of them at once if you have it set to nighttime mode. Now, none of these fish actually require it to be day, so if you want to do all of this in one session, in two hours, just pump it all out, then I highly recommend going into a battle lab Put it onto nighttime mode, and you will be good to go. Now, along with that, you want to do all of this fishing with a pro fishing rod. And I'll say this for every single fish that actually requires a pro fishing rod, just because some people might actually skip past this point. But if you're still here, then do know that pro fishing rods are a lot harder to come by this season. You cannot actually upgrade the uh, regular fishing rods in your inventory. For those of you guys that don't know, the crafting system is now actually in the game. So if you look at this, you can go to the crafting bar, but you cannot upgrade a standard fishing rod to a pro one you have to get them out of the RNG crates. And especially since there are no NPCs in Battle Lab, you actually just have to get really lucky with these crates. But I have a way to get a little bit luckier. Over at Craggy Cliffs, right on my marker, exactly here, drop down to that house. It is the fishing house at Craggy Cliffs. And this place is amazing. It has so many different fishing rods, and it allows you to pop open a bunch of different barrels. For me, it took about three tries today to actually get a pro fishing rod. So if you don't get it your first or second tries, do not worry. They are a little bit more difficult to come by this season. So just leave the battle lab, go right back in, and you will eventually get a pro fishing rod up at the spot at Craggy Cliffs. So now we have covered where to fish, when to fish, and how to fish with your pro fishing rod. Let's jump right into catching every single fish in the fishing decks in Chapter 2, Season 6. Let's start it off with the staple flopper. Now, I grouped these all into one section on the timestamp just because they are all super similar. They're just different colors of the same flopper. These guys can be caught anywhere in fishing holes, so just make sure you're fishing in a fishing hole. You do not even need a pro fishing rod. You can just be fishing around the map, and you will eventually catch all of these different floppers. Obviously, they all restore 40 missing HP, so they're super good to use in late game, and I mean, I'm not going to dive into how to use them in game. I'm just here to tell you guys how to catch him. Moving on, we have the first of the shield fish, and this guy's the black and blue shield fish. He is the easiest to catch out of all of them, and you can catch him anywhere. Now, you do not need to be using a pro fishing rod. You can use any type of fishing rod. You can even use a harpoon, 
And this guy can be caught anywhere, just like I said. For the black striped shield fish, you can catch this guy only in coastal areas. Now, my best recommendations for coastal areas, if you are actually looking to fish for this guy, is either over here at Sweaty Sands. This is a very nice spot to catch him. But if you're actually grabbing your pro fishing rod over here, just to catch some other fish that also require a pro fishing rod, this coastal area has a decent bit of fishing holes as well, especially with the addition of this little island. It gives you a few more fishing holes over here. So the two coastal fishing areas I would recommend are the one over at Craggy Cliffs and then the one down by Coral Castle and Sweaty Sands. The green shield fish is up next, a fan favorite, because this one can only actually be caught on one area of the map. I'm actually not sure about Stealthy Stronghold, but I do know that a forest area is actually down here at Weeping Woods. Now, I haven't actually discovered it this season, just due to the fact that there's like the little bit of corruption going on, this little orange stuff that's going into it, but this river running along Wailing Woods is in fact a forest area. So if you're fishing here with any type of fishing rod or a harpoon gun, you will eventually catch your green green shield fish. For the pink shield fish, this is the first fish in our fishing decks that actually requires a pro fishing rod. Now, this guy can be caught anywhere on the map, so just go literally anywhere that there's fishing holes. I love the spot that I'm at currently just because this is both a mountain area and it has a ton of fishing holes right around me, as you can see here. I've already used all of them up, but there's at least six here, and then you can go down that river even further, and there is even more. So this is my favorite fishing spot in the game. For those of you guys that don't know, if you actually have watched my past fishing guys then you guys already know that but this is the pink shield fish can be caught anywhere with a pro fishing rod again a tip for getting the pro fishing rods if you weren't here for the intro go to this house at craggy cliffs it has a ton of different fishing boxes there just break open all of them in a battle lap until you eventually get one restart your game if you don't get one and you will eventually find one over there the final of the shield fish is the light blue shield fish this guy can actually be caught anywhere with any type of fishing rod so he's just like the floppers go anywhere you will eventually eventually catch him. It may take a little bit, but you will eventually catch this guy. You can do it with a harpoon gun, with a normal fishing rod, whatever you want. For the first of our slurp fish, we have our staple slurp fish, the blue slurp fish. Now, this guy can be caught anywhere. He's exactly like the floppers in the sense that you will eventually catch him. Now, slurp fish are purple rarity, so this guy will be a little bit more difficult to catch, but should not be too bad for you just due to the fact that, you know, it's a slurp fish. They are pretty common. They're a little bit more common than like other types of purple fish, so you will eventually catch the blue slurp fish anywhere on the map. For our 10th fish, we have the yellow slurp fish. This guy can only be caught in swamp areas. Areas. Now, the only swamp area that I actually know of is Slurpy Swamp. I believe that there might be other ones around the map. Like, I'm not sure about steamy stacks, but I wouldn't risk it. Just go down here to Slurpy Swamp. There's a ton of fishing holes back here, and you'll eventually catch yourself the yellow Slurpfish. For our third and our penultimate slurpfish, we have the purple slurpfish. Now, this guy can be caught in mountainous areas. And again, just like I was saying earlier, this is my favorite spot to fish because not only does it have a ton of fishing spots, but it is also classified as a mountain area. So if you actually come on over here, the spot right next to Lazy Lake, there are a ton of fishing spots here. You guys probably all know where I am. But if you don't, then it's right here on the map. You can pause the video if you need to. But this is where to catch the purple slurpfish. Again, mountainous areas does not matter what fishing rod you use. For our 12th fish, the Black Slurfish, this guy can be a little bit more difficult to catch, but with my Battle Lab tip and setting it to the nighttime mode, it does make this one a lot easier. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, the Black Slurfish can only be caught in coastal areas at night, which is typically, like I just said, pretty hard, but if you go into a Battle Lab, set it to nighttime mode, then all you have to do is actually catch one in a coastal area. So if we actually go over here to Sweaty Sands, you can see that there's tons of fishing spots over there, and along with that, there are a ton of ones right above craggy cliffs so both of those spots are great coastal areas i highly recommend them again the black slurfish does not require any sort of pro fishing rod it just requires a harpoon gun or a standard fishing rod now our last slurfish is the hardest one to catch this guy is the white slurfish he is caught in swamp areas at night with a pro fishing rod but if you're using all of these stuff that i've been telling you guys to then it should be a breeze to catch this guy so like i said earlier come over here to craggy cliffs and actually grab Grab your pro fishing rods at this spot due to the fact that it is a ton of fishing barrels. Then you're going to want to come down here to Slurpy Swamp in your battle lab with it set to a nighttime setting. 
and then just go back here, go to these fishing holes, and you will eventually catch your white slurpfish to finish your final entry for your slurpfish. Moving on to our next section, we have these small fries, and I'm going to group these first three guys into one section, just due to the fact that they're basically identical to the first three floppers. Now, the only difference that they have is that you cannot catch them in fishing holes. Basically, you just need to catch them outside of fishing holes, so just go to some open water where it seems all still and good, and eventually you'll get a pull on your line, and hopefully you don't catch shotgun ammo. Hopefully you'll catch one of these nice small fries. Now, there are three types that can be caught anywhere the light blue small fry the tan small fry and the purple top small fry all of these guys like i said can be caught anywhere but the next two do require specific locations moving on to fish number 17 we have the black small fry now this guy can be caught anywhere but it does have to be nighttime so this should be a breeze for you guys because as long as you load into a battle lab and set the setting to nighttime you will be all good to go to catch this uh black small fry all you need to do is just fish in somewhere that is not a fishing hole and you'll eventually catch yourself a black small fry fish number 18 the blue small fry is the final one in our small fry category all you need to do for this guy is go to a coastal area so again i would recommend to you guys the area right above sweaty sands or over at craggy cliffs as both of those spots are super good coastal areas and even though they do have a lot of fishing holes just ignore those fishing holes and just fish in the open water because that is the only way to get small fries next up we have our first new fish in fortnite chapter 2 season 6 the stink flop now this guy is super cool because he is multi-purposed you can use him for many different things but the first one is obviously to heal yourself back up just like a flopper would this guy will actually heal you for 20 hp if you left click on him as you can see here it will put me back to 100 hp but the special thing about the stink flopper is that if you actually hold down right click and then you throw the stink flopper you will actually see that it creates the stink bomb effect if we actually do this at our feet it does the exact same amount of damage as a stink bomb would do about five damage per tick and then you can heal that right back up if you accidentally throw one at your feet with the very own stink flopper so it's really cool because it's got multiple purposes now we'll get into how to catch them for the base stink flopper, this guy does not have any colors. He is not a variant at all. You can catch this guy anywhere. No pro fishing rod required. You can literally go to any fishing hole and you will eventually catch the stink flopper. For fish 20, the blue stink flopper, you can catch this guy anywhere. Just like the initial stink flopper, you can actually catch this guy literally anywhere on the map. No fishing rod required. For fish number 21, this is the clown stink flopper. And like the other two stink floppers, you can catch this guy anywhere with a normal fishing rod or a harpoon gun just make sure that you're fishing in a fishing hole and you will eventually catch this guy for fish number 22 the purple stink flopper again you can catch this guy literally anywhere. You do not need any sort of fishing rod. It does not need to be night. You don't need to be in a certain area. You can catch this guy literally anywhere. All you need is a fishing rod or a harpoon gun and a fishing hole, and you'll eventually catch him. For our final stink flopper, it puts the nail in the coffin of these guys can be caught anywhere. The orange stink flopper, like every other stink flopper, can actually be caught anywhere on the map, and he does not require any sort of special fishing rod. All you need is a normal fishing rod or a harpoon gun and a fishing hole and you'll eventually catch yourself your 23rd fish the orange stink flopper now we're a little bit over halfway through the fishing decks and we're moving on to the spicy fish category now these guys used to be in the game in fortnite chapter 2 season 4 then they got vaulted in season 5 but now they are back for season 6 so for the molten spicy fish you can actually catch this guy anywhere it does not require any sort of special fishing rod you do not need a pro fishing rod all you need is a fishing hole and a normal fishing rod or a harpoon gun and you will eventually catch yourself the molten spicy fish for fish number 25 the drift spicy Spicy fish. You can catch this guy only in forest areas. Now, you can do this with any sort of fishing rod, but a forest area that I'd love to go to is this river right over here at Wailing Woods. Now, I'm not sure if there's actually any other forest areas on the map. I'm not sure about Stealthy Stronghold. That might be one, but I would say just stay safe. Go down here to Wailing Woods, and you'll eventually catch one. Is this called Wailing Woods or Weeping Woods? I get this one always mixed up, but this is where you can catch it now along this river. There are not that many fishing holes, so you 
you may need to restart your battle lab a few times but since this doesn't actually require a pro fishing rod that's not actually that big of a deal for fish number 26 the white spotted spicy fish all you need to do is go to a mountainous area with a normal fishing rod and then you will eventually catch it at a fishing hole like i said this is my absolute favorite mountainous area just because it counts as a mountain area and there are a ton of fishing spots right around me so this is where you can catch the third fish of the spicy fish the white spotted spicy fish that was a tongue twister for the 27th fish and the penultimate spicy fish we have the southern spicy fish this guy can only be caught in swamp areas but you can use any fishing rod of your choice now that means it does not require a pro fishing rod you can just use a standard one or a harpoon gun and just come on down here to this swamp area and you can go to any of these fishing holes and you will eventually catch your 27th fish the southern spicy fish for our final spicy fish the sky blue spicy fish fish number 28 you need to catch this guy in coastal areas there are no fishing rod requirements though so you can use any sort of fishing rod either a pro or a normal or a harpoon gun and like i've been recommending to you guys go to sweaty sands or to craggy cliffs tons of fishing spots over here in these coastal areas and like i said they do count as coastal areas so these are great spots to catch your coastal fish for our next category of fish we have our jellyfish now these guys are amazing because they are basically chug splashes for your team but that's not what we're here for today we are here to find how to catch them so the first one the slurp jellyfish just the base variant can be caught anywhere in a fishing hole no fishing rod requirements at all just hop into a game and you'll eventually catch the slurp jellyfish for fish number 30 the peely jellyfish this guy is a little bit more specific and does actually require a pro fishing rod this guy can only be caught in mountainous areas and along with that it does require the pro fishing rod so as you can see here i've got my pro fishing rod and like i've been telling you guys the easiest way to get a pro fishing rod is to actually come over here to craggy cliffs go to this building there are a ton of different fishing barrels in there so just make sure you go and break a ton of them if you don't get one in your first game leave the battle lab come right back in and then you will eventually get your pro fishing rod from there you're going to want to come down to this area on the map it is quite a bit of a journey but this is my favorite mountain area and the mountain areas are all at the bottom of the map so it is a bit annoying to actually have to make this trek but you can grab a boat and then just sail down this river and you'll eventually get there that makes the trip really really short but this fish can only be caught in the mountainous area so come over over here tons of fishing holes over here use that pro fishing rod and you will eventually catch yourself the peely jellyfish next up we have the purple jellyfish for your 31st fish in your fishing decks you are going to need to go to a coastal area again there are no fishing rod requirements on this one all you need to do is go to a coastal area like sweaty sands or craggy cliffs whichever one suits you better and then just go over here and fish till you can't know more and you will catch yourself the purple jellyfish our next one on the list is a little bit of a hard one to catch for a lot of people. I see every season people leaving comments that the Dark Vanguard Jellyfish took them the longest to catch, but the Dark Vanguard Jellyfish, its requirements actually aren't that bad. All you need to do is catch it at night. And like I've been saying, just load into your battle lab, set the daytime setting to nighttime, and then you will be able to come down to, say, Slurpy Swamp or Lazy Lake, literally any fishing spot, because there is no restriction as to where you can catch this guy. It is only that it needs to be nighttime. This means that you just need to set your battle lab to nighttime and then fish away for your other fish, and you will eventually catch the Dark Vanguard Jellyfish. For our next fish, the Cuddle Jellyfish, the 33rd one, you just need to go down to a swamp area. So come on down to Slurpy Swamp. You can use any sort of fishing rod, the uh, normal fishing rod the, or the harpoon gun or even a pro fishing rod if you really want. Go to these uh, fishing spots, go to these fishing holes, sorry, and then you will eventually catch the Cuddle Jellyfish. Moving on to our second to last type of fish, we have the Hop Floppers. Now these guys are super cool because they give you the low gravity effect, but the Drift Hop Flopper is a staple. He can be caught anywhere. It does not matter where you are along the map as long as you are fishing in a fishing hole this purple rarity fish will eventually get caught by you for fish 35 this one is a little bit more difficult the atlantic hop flopper now he is actually required to be caught with a pro fishing rod and you need to be in a mountainous area so it is good to do this guy in tandem with the peely jellyfish because they have the same requirements but the atlantic hop flopper just come over here to this mountainous area you can break these fishing barrels for a pro fishing rod or like i've been telling you guys go up to this one house at craggy cliffs 
break all of those barrels, and you'll eventually get yourself a pro fishing rod to actually catch the Atlantic Hop Flopper. For fish number 36, we have the Chum Hop Flopper, and this guy can only be caught in coastal areas. Now, to actually catch this guy, you're just going to need to come down to either sweaty sands or craggy cliffs. Now, again, this guy does not require any sort of fishing rod. You can use a normal one or a harpoon gun. It does not matter what you're using. As long as you're fishing in these coastal area locations, you will be good to go. For our penultimate hop flopper, we have the chin hook hop flopper. I think I'm saying that right. I'm honestly not sure, but you're going to need to go down to a swamp area. So go down to Slurpee Swamp, use any sort of fishing rod, go to these fishing holes, and you'll eventually catch it as long as you're fishing down here. For the 38th fish, the coho hop flopper, go to a forest area, which again is weeping woods for those of you guys that haven't heard yet. And along this river, there are a ton of fishing spots, but if you run out of them here, just restart your battle lab, go right back in, and you'll get completely new fishing spots on this little river. So that is how to catch the coho hop flopper. For fish number 39, we have a staple fish, the vendetta flopper. Now this guy can be caught anywhere, but you do need a pro fishing rod and when you have the pro fishing rod, it is still a one in a hundred chance to catch this guy. So do not save this guy for last. Just always be fishing around the map with a pro fishing rod because then you will be able to actually have the chance to catch this guy wherever you are fishing. So again, this guy can be caught anywhere with a pro fishing rod. Good luck catching the Vendetta Flopper. For our final type of fish, this is the first ever attack type of fish other than the uh, Stink Flopper, obviously. But the Cuttlefish is actually new to Season 6. And with this fish, what you need to do is obviously left-click on it once you have one. Throw it down, and then it is basically a landmine. So if an opponent walks over this, it will actually grab onto them and explode. But if you walk over it, nothing happens. Or you can pick it right back up, and it's back into your inventory. So it's a very cool item, just because it's, a, it's literally a landmine that you get just from fishing. Now, for actually catching this fish, for the Cuttlefish, you can catch him anywhere with a normal fish fishing rod or a pro fishing rod or any type of fishing rod. So for fish number 40, you can catch him anywhere. For fish number 41, we're getting very close to the end now, people. For the 41th fish, you can catch the blue cuttlefish literally anywhere, just like the other cuttlefish using any type of fishing rod. For the 42nd type of fish, the green cuttlefish, you can actually catch this guy also anywhere with any type of fishing rod. So very easy to catch. You just go anywhere on the map. And as you're catching other fish and progressing your fishing decks, you will actually be catching these guys at the same time. For for our pen ultimate fish in the fishing decks, we have the orange cuttlefish. Now this guy can again be caught anywhere on the map. No fishing rod requirements whatsoever. Just go anywhere on the map and while you're fishing for your other fish, you'll eventually catch the orange cuttlefish. And the final fish in our fishing decks for this season is the red cuttlefish. Now, this guy is super cool, and he actually looks really, really sick. And again, just like every single other cuttlefish, he can be caught literally anywhere on the map. No fishing rod requirements required, so you can catch this guy literally anywhere. So that is how to catch every single one of the fish in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 6. Again, just as a quick bit of a recap, the best spot to get pro fishing rods is right up here at Craggy Cliffs. And then my favorite fishing spots for coastal areas are right over here. For forest areas, it is right over here. Swampy areas, right over here. And then for mountainous areas, it is right over here. So good luck in your fishing journeys, everyone. I hope that you guys have an amazing success rate with actually completing this fishing deck. I hope that the fishing luck blesses you. I hope that you get good RNG in your fishing journeys. But if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please consider leaving a like on it and subscribing to the channel as that will help me out a ton. Also, consider popping in code GUMMYYOSHI if you are going to be buying the Season 6 Battle Pass as it would help me out a ton because I do spend a lot of time making these videos, catching all these fish, recording everything. It takes a while and, you know, my voice is completely shot after recording these videos. But like I said, consider leaving a like on it. It would help me out a ton. Consider subscribing to the channel all that good stuff i hope you all have an amazing day and i will see you guys in the next one